Hello and welcome to this video tutorial about Sony Vegas 3 layers. Um, I've made a video recently about a matrix kinetic typography and some people asked me about how to make it and stuff like that. So this quick tutorial I just want to briefly overview the 3D layer section, uh, show you how you can use it in a simple manner and uh, let you animate it by yourself. So um, Pay attention. <laughs> We're gonna create uh, two video layers. First one, I'm gonna drop a text media in it. I hope you can all know the basics of uh, Sony Vegas. Uh, first one, I'm gonna say hello. Second is gonna be. Oh crap. It's gonna be world. Yes, so now you can see in the preview we have the two text right on top of each other. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create the second layer is gonna be a child of the first layer. What that means is that the second layer will always uh, move with the first layer. You have to be careful about that. Okay, um, we're gonna use this button here, make compositing child. You can see this uh, jump here. And see a few icons appear. Okay, what we want to do is create a 3D source alpha. Normal is uh, source alpha, which is uh, standard and just gives uh, uh, alpha background, let's say. And 3D source alpha creates 3D. You can see, you can't see anything about it. You can see just uh, 3D here, so no problem. 3D here too, and very important, create a 3D layer of the complete composite. So this button and the button right above it is about the compose mode. Okay, um, I can show you now in the track motion is you can you have kind of like a 3ds Max. Um, frames where you have top, front, left and perspective. Perspective is uh, not rotatable I think, just movable. You can see it kind of slides backwards but here is the where the magic happens if I put this back you can see in the preview on the right that hello is going back and if I do the same to the second layer but I move it to the front you can see it's coming closer so that's nice. Now, when we go to the track motion of the parents, so actually the composite motion, let's say, you have this box, and this box is very handy for uh, scaling. So you're scaling the entire compo uh, composition. And with this rotate tool, it's kind of look like the rotate tool they use in 3ds Max now. So if you use 3ds Max, it's kind of handy. Uh, you can actually rotate the entire comp entire uh, composition, so you have your 3D layers um, rotating now. Now, this isn't the the exact same tool that um, After Effects uses. After Effects has more like an entire uh, 3D field where you can set stuff and use a camera and uh, animate the camera around it. This is not anything like it. It's just for simple animations like uh, the one I did with the matrix thing and it takes a lot of time because and a lot of layers because every time you need a new text or anything you kinda want to put it in a layer because of all the parenting and uh, stuff like that. So um, exactly with the normal track motion the parent motion is uh, is an uh, animatable the same way so if we put a keyframe here and rotate it here you can see that this is actually an animation right now and if I size up my text you can actually see that uh, this is rotating at a very slow rate All right. here we go So what I like to do when I create this depth is actually uh, turn down the, uh, the opacity of the, sec the 
layer that's behind it, so it kind of looks like they're in front and behind each other. There's a lot of things you can do with uh, with those 3D things. I hope this basic will actually tell you how to do it, and I hope you have fun. And if you have any work you did with 3D layers in Vegas, I would love to hear from you and uh, check it out. So.